Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at a new Basic Fun Arcade Classics release that I actually lucked out and actually found the freaking thing. Fix It Felix! Cool! Now, this was a really good movie from Disney back in 2012. I love this movie. You know, growing up in the late 70s, early 80s, uh, during the golden age of arcade gaming, there's a lot of those characters in this movie. And what's really neat about this is Disney, as a promotional item, they actually made little Fix-It Felix arcade games uh, as a promotional thing for their you know pre-launch parties for the movie. And a lot of people's actually made their own Fix-It Felix arcade machines, full-size ones. My buddy, uh, Carrie, that used to run the Place Retro Arcade that's closed now, it was in Cincinnati, he actually had one in there that I got to play. I fell in love with the game. Now I'm really stoked that Basic Fun actually released a little miniature version of that arcade game. And how appropriate is it because the new Wreck-It Ralph movie is coming out really soon. So this will probably sell luck hype like hotcakes this year. There was only one on the shelf of these. There was like four or five of the Miss Pac-Mans that just came out as well. So already these are flying off the shelves at Walmart. So we're going to take a closer look at this, do an unboxing, we're going to play the game, and I'll share my thoughts on it, and see how fun it actually is on this little screen. Awesome. Okay, here's a nice close-up view of the box. It is number 12 in the series. Miss Pac-Man's number 11. Fix-It Fix Felix Jr. includes three AA batteries. Great artwork. Love this artwork on here. Nice side view shot. Then on the back, it describes the game a little bit. Wreck it, Ralph, trying to wreck the building. Use your tools to fix the broken windows. Avoid the falling bricks and flying birds. Eat pies to become temporarily invincible. Pretty cool. Basic fun. I like the basic fun line of these classic arcades, and especially. The Walmart exclusive versions, which have the real nice LCD screens, plus these really cool boxes. It's a real nice, nice series to collect. I really enjoy collecting them. So let's open this thing up here real quick, and we'll take a look at the actual machine itself. The seal has been broken. Oh, oh my gosh, here we go. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Whoop, oh, neat. I like the background, that's kind of cool. That's pretty awesome. Of course, here on the back we got our little lock tab, so we have to uh, cut away so I can get the crazy thing out of here. Do -do -do, do -do -do -do. There we go. And we have released the game from its cardboard prison. There it is. Wow, it's pretty cool. It's got some nice decal work on it. I wish the marquee went clear across, though. That would have been nice, you know. Standard three level volume control on off button. We got our joystick right here. We have our start button and the fix button. Nice artwork on the side here. Of course, we have the battery compartment, three double A's. This is to activate the demo mode, so we pull that out. So now when it fires up, will be the actual game. Pretty cool. I love these full color LCD screens. So nice. Now also in the box, we have our manual. Shows the arcade game here in the front. Fix it, Felix Jr. Instructions and the game rules. So basically it goes through how to play the game, what the different objects are on top of the, sc on, on the screen, Pretty straightforward. It gives the points, gives some tips on playing it. Pretty cool. Pretty straightforward game instructions. It's a very simple game, but it is a lot of fun. All right, let's take a closer look at the little machine itself and then, and then play it. All right, let's turn this bad boy on. Give it a try. Fix it, Felix Jr. I like the music. Hit the start button. Okay, there's the instructions. Basically, you're fixing the windows, you're avoiding the following bricks and birds. You got your move and jump, and you have the fix it button. And here we go. 
That would have been cool if Ralph would holler, I'm going to wreck it, like it does on the Sega Genesis version I have. This doesn't appear to be the Sega Genesis ROM, though. I'm not for sure what ROM they use. And probably the NES one, that, the homebrew that was done some time back, maybe. Fixing my windows. I mean, you know, it's kind of a cool arcade game concept. I can actually see something like this coming out back in the 80s. And I would have played the living daylights out of it. I mean, whoever came up with this idea for this game, for this movie, uh, they were really thinking. All right, I'm ready to advance. Now you better climb up there, Ralph. I mean, such a simple game concept, but yet it's so much fun. The sound is a little bit tinny. Oh, there's a pie. I missed the pie in the window. That would have made me invincible. Ooh, watch out for the bricks. Watch out for the bricks, Felix. Oh, oh there's a pie. Get the pie. Yes. Oh, I'm invincible. Oh, it's running out. Yes! <laughs> you fixed it! <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, bye, Ralph! I just want my stump. Pretty awesome. Not a bad game at all. I'm really impressed with this. It's definitely one I, I definitely would recommend getting for your collection if you like to collect these little mini arcade games. Pretty awesome. So what are my final thoughts on this little mini arcade from Basic Fun? I give this a high rating. You know, five out of five little mini cades. Uh, this is a definite must-have. If you're a fan of the Fix-It Felix Jr. film, the Wreck-It Ralph film, I mean, and also if you like the little mini arcade machines, this is one to definitely add to your collection. It's a very unique game. Uh, sound is a little bit, you know, off as I described, but... I can look past that. The gameplay is really good. Such a fun game. So until next time, everyone, keep on retro gaming. Thanks for watching.